Hi friends, today Meta has released a bunch of new foundation models. For over an year, we have new models open sourced almost every week. So why does it matter? Here we have the three smallest large language models from the big developers. Okay, so we have Gemma 2 from Google, which is 2.5 billion parameter. And we have five 3.5 from Microsoft, which is 3.7 billion parameter. And today Meta released Llama 3.2, which is just 1.25, or let's call it 1 billion parameter model. Now, so why does it matter? The quantized instruct model, it's just around 580 MB, half of the original model, which is 1.3 gigabytes. Okay. And as it is instruct model, it can be used in AI assistance agents, etc., to do complex tasks as well. Now that the models are so small, this is important for a number of reasons, uh, which I listed here. Now, these models can be run on edge devices, mobile devices, or even at uh, the browser. Now, for me, the most important reason is most of the subscribers to my channel are students and they don't have uh, paid API keys. So when they run the models on their low config machines, they often hang. So they ask me, how do I learn a Gen AI, right? So with these new releases, running these 580 MB uh, models or even these 1.3 uh, gigabyte, they can run very smoothly on even very low config uh, old laptops. So it will enable learning uh, a lot easier. Now, few other reasons, obviously the speed is going to be uh, much, much faster and running these models is super economic. So I think uh, uh, Hugging Face uh, and other providers uh, will provide the APIs uh, almost dead cheap uh, for the Llama 3.2 1 billion uh, parameter models. And finally, the environmental considerations and recently, uh, it is in the news that uh, GPT-4 consumes three bottles of water to cool down uh, the processors to produce every 100 watts. That's insane, right? Now, these models are just the size of a large machine, learn machine learning models. So these are uh, super environmental friendly. All right. Now, and also these models, they support uh, multiple languages, obviously, including uh, English. Based on the use case, uh, Llama has released uh, four categories of models. Okay, so the first one, uh, the foundation models, then the instruct models, and they also released uh, a bunch of uh, multi models and multimodal models, and finally these God models. Okay, let's look at uh, uh, the use cases, right? So the Llama 3.2, 1 billion, and 3 billion parameter models, they can be used uh, for a regular uh, uh, LLM tasks. We have been using them. Uh, for text generation, summarization, so on and so forth. And then the instruct model, they can be used uh, for AI assistance, agent signed, agentic racks, etc. And now these vision models, uh, those are not image generation models, but these are multimodal models uh, in, in the space of text and uh, image slash document. So these can be used in use cases like visual question answering. For example, we might have an image or a PDF document. We want to ask questions, the visual reasoning, and then document visual question answering, image captioning, image text retrieval, uh, visual grounding, uh, uh, making sure that the text and the image are representing the same, uh, uh, etc. And finally, uh, Lama Meta has been uh, emphasizing on responsible AI development. So uh, they often release uh, these uh, Lama God models, uh, which is to God rail uh, the LLM applications slash LLM systems. Okay. All right. Uh, let's just look at uh, the performance. So here we have Gemma 2, which is, let's say, 2 billion parameter, and 5.3.5, which is 3.7 billion parameter. Now, the 1 billion parameter, uh, not in all metrics, but in some metrics, it even beating the 2 billion and 3.7 billion, the current state-of-the-art small language models. So this model, it just, it's not only small, but its performance is also quite impressive, okay? Um, now let's see how to run those models. Uh, the easiest way to run these models, uh, I mean, uh, uh, using Olama, Hugging Face, or Llama CPP, etc. So let's see how we can run these models using Olama. Right? So install Olama and then simply run Olama run Llama 3.2 1 billion. So for the first time, the model gets downloaded. Since I already downloaded, uh, it will directly show, show me the prompt. Uh, 
and let's see how we can run these models uh, using a hugging face okay here i'm my collab environment now on your hugging face account as these are gated models uh, you have to log in and uh, request for access it gets approved uh, within minutes uh, since it is already approved i don't see that message but uh, if you haven't done it already uh, here you will see uh, the request okay so i get the api key all right so install the transformers and then uh, import the pipelines uh, which is the easiest way to run many uh, foundation models and login using your uh, token or api key and then so first llama 3.2 1 billion parameter this is a simple uh, text generation model all right so here we have the model id and then pipeline as it says the task is text generation simply provide the model id and then uh, invoke the pipe okay so this will complete uh, the text so the key to life is and then uh, it has completed uh, this text okay all right then the instruct model these are uh, fine-tuned models so basically we take uh, these foundation models we fine-tune them so that they can understand uh, the user uh, instructions that's why they are called instruct fine-tuned models now these can be used in uh, agents uh, assistants etc okay so this is how we use them as you can see we, here we have the role uh, 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 and the content for the system also so here we can tell the system or the llm uh, how to behave uh, etc okay uh, it's exactly the same uh, and then here we have the message and invoke the message the max output tokens 256 and we are simply asking who are you and here is the response from the model so this is the assistant content you are looking for me all right then mate oh, quite uh, unusual language <laughs> i be captain black Brig, the most feared infamous pirate so and so forth so and so forth i guess this language is from pirates of the bay uh, pirates of the caribbean movie maybe i don't know all right so the llama got model it's a classification model uh, so we know llms are prone to injection jailbreaking etc right and they also hallucinate uh, and they can provide malicious uh, content uh, uh, etc so we want to make sure uh, there are we employ proper guardrails uh, in llm applications so what do we do is before sending the user prompt to the actual llm we use these guardrails uh, models to detect if the content is safe okay only if the content is safe we actually send the user prompt uh, to the llm and once the llm generate the output then also we use these guardrails to check if the generated content is safe or if it is biased etc and only if it is safe then we uh, uh, we show that content to the user okay so the got three one uh, one billion parameter model and then uh, for this one uh, so here we have the model and then the tokenizer and here we have a very simple uh, user content uh, what is the recipe for mayonnaise uh, this is a safe content so it should uh, pass okay all right so just invoke uh, this is a standard uh, hugging face uh, way of uh, tokenizing the text first and then inputting or invoking the model with those tokens and here is the generated output uh, the output is safe so if you look here so as i said it's a classification model uh, uh checking for these 13 uh, classes so is the content is it uh, violent crime or is it sex related crime defamation piracy uh, suicide harm uh, election related hate uh, sexual content intellectual property specialized advice so and so forth right now here uh, we are uh, printing the final output but uh, we can get granular output uh, the probabilities uh, for different uh, of uh, those classes uh, also now here i have a malicious content asking uh, how do i rob a bank now as you can see the output uh, is unsafe okay and finally uh, the vision model now the free collab version it has a memory of only some 12 gig and 5 gig is already in use now this model being 11 billion parameter one uh, this memory won't be enough so i won't be running uh, running this but uh, from here as you can see to this model we can input an image and then we can do a visual question answering document question answering things like that right so here we are asking hey write a poem this japanese type a poem uh, based on uh, uh, this uh, image okay so i did not uh, run this and finally uh, so in addition to these llms llama is doing a lot of work uh, in developing these tools and frameworks uh, to provide uh, the complete uh, stack so they have released uh, uh, this llama stack apis uh, which can help us build uh, these assistants as you so these guardrails or shields uh, etc and also uh, uh, here is another stock uh, uh, 
for developing LLM applications, uh, not just using the Llama LLMs. That's all for this video. Um, I think it's a significant uh, 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 development uh, in the Gen AI space. Thank you very much.